Hello my dear friends once again welcome back to my channel Lyceum of Politics Today let's discuss the political philosophy of an eminent philosopher Thomas Hill Green so let's begin our journey Now my friends T H Green was one of the eminent western philosophers okay Now the basic approach of his philosophy was to justify the measures taken by the English bourgeoisie of the society at that time for the sake of their freedom and at the same time he tried to introduce the principle of state intervention and rationalize the role played by the state in the society okay and in doing so he combined politics with ethics and metaphysics also Now Green was born in Yorkshire in 1836 and his father was a clergyman in the Church of England later on after completing his studies he joined the University of Oxford apart from that he was actively taking part in public affairs and he became a member of Oxford Town Council and remained there for many years now some of the most important works of green as you can see on the screen are lectures on the principles of political obligation a uh, prolegomena to ethics and lecture on liberal legislation and freedom of contract and there were many more okay so now let's have a look at green's take on individuals now as i have told you just now that he viewed human beings from a very unique viewpoint he rested his perception of man on a moral ground okay now t h green considered human being something more than a mere animal He says that man is endowed with the unique attributes of reason and will and usage of these attributes that is reason will makes him a morally good being because the fullest realization of his moral capacities can be only made through this way now talking about knowledge green felt that to know is to relate that is knowledge is impossible without the relating activity okay So just like the individuals green also views the state as a moral agency so thus the state should be viewed as a necessity of man and not as any force applied to them they obey the state that is individuals obey the state because the state is capable of providing to them all the basic external necessary conditions which are needed for the moral development of the individual the state respects in this way the moral power of the individuals it should apply constraints to prevent individuals only when they seem to deviate from moral ideal my friends this is according to green so in this way the individual would feel that it is his duty to obey the state as the state works for his own benefit his own moral development and in doing so green establishes the moral grounds of political obligation okay so friends now let's have a look at green stake on the concept of freedom or liberty okay now talking about liberty green finds liberty or freedom as a situation where an individual can live a moral life and he can survive as a moral being okay and he further says that whenever such a liberty is under threat the state shall have the right to intervene into the matter and put the individual back to the path of morality so i hope you can understand from here that by this he makes the interference of state in the life of individual a very positive kind of concept and is not contrary to any kind of individual freedom right green further justifies the interference of state in the matters of labor health and education okay and he also defends the capital punishment and the right of the state to wage war if situation demands but one thing is quite astonishing which i could not stop myself from sharing with you that green did not give right to the state to interfere into matters related to private property you know he does not treat inequality of wealth as a form of deprivation because wealth to him is a flow and it is not a fixed kind of fund so this attitude perhaps uh, goes very well with the further development of the bourgeoisie force within the society right so friends this was the basic ideas of green in a very short and simple manner hope you liked it 
please press the like button of the video and subscribe to our channel. I will come back to you very soon. Till then, never stop learning, keep on exploring. Bye-bye and take care.